Congressman Albio Sirez represents the 8th Congressional District in New Jersey, and he joins us now. Congressman, good to see you. Nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you, too, Dave. So you were a part of a, a group of New Jersey lawmakers who sent a letter to the acting director of the Department of Homeland Security protesting the fact that at least 50 uh, Customs Border Protection officers were moved from our area to the southern border, yeah? Yes, yes. It was myself, Senator Menendez, Senator Booker, and Don Payne, Congressman Don Payne. So do we even know that that number of 50 is, is even accurate? Because we don't know that, do we? No, that's one of the things that we ask, you know, how many people are going to be transferred. Uh, basically, what are the reasons why are they being transferred? You know, this is the peak of the travel season. You know, what's going to be with the four airports that we have in the area? What's going to be with the increase in cargo that usually happens around this time of the year? at the ports, and here we are transferring uh, 50 of our uh, people who keep us uh, safe. So who, who are these people? Where are they generally stationed, and, and what's the real impact of their absence? Well, the absence is I think we are less secure than we were, and, you know, before they moved these people. Where are they going? We don't know exactly where, but they said the southern border. So I guess they'll be, be deployed there. But our concern is the security aspect. You know, New York has always been a target, and, and the four airports and the ports are less secure because they remove 50 people, which from things that keep from people who keep us secure. So these are people who would ordinarily be uh, at Newark and LaGuardia and JFK, and yes. would also be working at the ports as well. Yeah. So I, you know, I don't know exactly how many they took from the ports or how many they took from the airports, but <clears throat> I hope it's that, you know, this is only temporary and that they'll bring it back right away. What has the response been uh, to your letter from DHS? Well, we haven't gotten a response yet. So that's typical of this administration. What do you do now? What's, what's your next step if, you, if you're not hearing back from DHS, do we just have to kind of hope that nothing happens in the meantime? Well, what we can do is we can monitor and make sure, keep insisting that they bring these people back. And uh, beyond that, I really don't know exactly what to do right now. But we're going to monitor this, make sure that we get our people back. The president? Keep complaining and keep insisting to them that, you know, this is a uh, number one target for terrorists, this area. Yeah. And this is peak season for travel and cargo movement. So the president says that there is a crisis at our uh, southern border. Is it, in your mind, a crisis? Well, whether it's a crisis or not, you're going to have a crisis in our area because of taking people that makes us safe. I mean, they could have gone someplace else. But if or there is a genuine, board. if there is a genuine uh, crisis. Um, isn't it within the, the president's um, responsibility to take from wherever necessary to, to deal with this crisis? I guess the, the underlying question is, is there a real rationale for moving these people? And the, the president says that there is a crisis down there. Well, you know, it's, it's, suppose there is a crisis down in the border, but you're going to solve that by making this section of the northeast less safe, that doesn't make sense. That the bottom line of all of this is uh, that this country does not have in place uh, a logical, functional immigration system. How close or how far are we, in your mind, from settling this question of immigration policy in the United States? No, I just uh, don't think we're any closer than we, bar than we were. This administration doesn't seem to, their idea of fixing immigration is throw everybody out, secure the border, and uh, that's it. They're not interested in coming up with a legitimate immigration uh, reform. All right, Congressman Albio Sirez, thanks for joining us. Good to talk to you again. Nice to talk to you, Dave. Thank you.